who have uh, gone so far as to paint their faces orange. Uh, tell us what prompted this uh, painting of your faces orange today. Say again, I didn't hear you. So what prompted you to paint your face orange today? Oh, we're here combating orange fever, which spreads with xenophobia and hatred and fear. And what about yourself? What, what point would you really like to drive home as you attended today? Well, I think this whole thing is about the fact Your orange makeup clearly uh, an allusion to uh, President Trump's appearance. Yes. Well, you know, we, we like to use humor to fight fascism. You know, you notice all around us are signs that use humor and, and try and drive a point home rather than hatred. And uh, yes, the fish stinks from the head down, and certainly our country right now is turning orange, and we need to stop that. So we'll go ahead and uh, read some of the things it says on the sign. It says, symptoms include impaired judgment. Swelling of the ego, prolonged handshakes, also we've got xenophobia, fear-mongering, knee-jerk reactions, and we also have the only known antidote uh, is facts. Let me counter, I mean, President Trump has said that we are, among other things, the fake media, that we're not dealing in facts, that we're being unfair and negative. What is your uh, response to that? President Trump has said that the media and the free press is the enemy. The enemy of what? The enemy of America. It's in the Constitution, freedom of the press. He's against the Constitution. And what would you say to people in the Trump administration who say that we absolutely have to tighten all of you into this, our borders, because we've got a problem with previous terror incidents here, and we've got a problem, you know, globally with people who are very dangerous leaving Syria, Iraq, and other parts of the Middle East. Well, I think, again, we have to rely on facts to decide what sort of actions we're going to take, and his most recent ban was not based on any fact whatsoever, so we support the people from those countries that were detained illegally. I'm curious, are, are you in the, the show business? Are you actors? Just what? We are. We're directors, we're writers, we're actors. We have a group of over 50 artists in five cities called the Useful Idiots. And we come together in all of these protests to try and bring, help bring the message across in a way that in a way that people can understand and, and enjoy but still learn. Great. I thank you for taking time out. Here's another gentleman who came out here today.